Good evening, everybody. Once again, it's me, Kenneth, from Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. And today, I'm going to be doing something different. You know, my, you know I always try to tell you what, what my show is about. Sometimes I'm cooking, sometimes I'm, I'm doing housework, sometimes I'm in the store. So today, I'll show you the proper way to clean your gold. All right, uh, you have your gold rag here, and you have your clean jewelry here. Okay. Now, if you want to go get a gold rag by itself, you're looking at about $40 to $20. You have to buy some jewelry to get the gold rag. The jewelry, the jewelry cleaner, you're looking at about the same amount. But if you buy some jewelry in a store, they'll get it to you free. It depends on where you go. Okay, let me show you the difference, okay? The gold rag, I mean, the, the, the gold rag, you clean your jewelry, you run across the jewelry like that, and the dirt come off on there. Now see them diamonds, you really can't see them. Now I'm gonna try my gold. The dirt come off, but you really can't see it shining. You really can't see. You can see a little bit, you can't. Now I'm gonna try jewelry cleaner. Okay. But you gotta let the, you gotta let the jury soak in the jury cleaner overnight. Don't nobody really wanna let unless you at night time you go in the bed, you can do it like that. But then jury cleaner. Wipe it off, it still won't show that good, okay. No. Put your golden jewelry clean them diamonds right there on the ring. And wipe, wipe them off of it. Still on shine. But see, I'm going to show you how I clean my jewelry. Okay. A cup of water. Two, two brush. Regular old two brush around the house. Two brush you've been using for a long time. And uh, you ain't using no more. Cause they say you got a certain amount of time, you gotta throw your toothbrush away anyway. Okay, alright. Okay, okay. Let me see what I'm gonna do. Okay. Necklace, I'm gonna clean my necklace first. Water my toothbrush. You don't have, if you don't have a lot of time on your hand, you can do it that way. But if you like your look, your stuff looking good, not dull and stuff, you can do it this way. You don't want your stuff shining when you're going out. They say some to toothbrush, toothpaste got some kind of acid in it that uh make it. For your teeth, you got some kind of acid to clean the pack off your teeth and stuff. You know. And the shine lasts for a couple of days. You gotta keep the gold clean. I ain't put it in the water. Look at that. That's what gold supposed to look like. Let me show you what diamond supposed to look like. See, it's a diamond, a diamond ring right there. Make these diamonds shine. Just show you how to clean your, it's all about showing you how to clean your jewelry.
Can you see the difference? See the difference, can't you? Okay. And you see this necklace right here? It ain't that shiny stuff. I'm gonna go with this. You know, I'm trying to just teach you stuff, different stuff, different ways. And you save your money too, you have to go out there and buy that, that jewelry kingdom. Ah, now look at it. Now look at it. Shiny. Proper way to clean your jewelry. Not the proper way, but uh a good way to clean your jewelry if you want your jewelry shiny and you don't want to spend a lot of money on the jewelry, clean the jewelry rag and stuff and have that stuff clouding up your house. <clears throat> I'm just showing you uh, the proper way on how, I, on how I clean my jewelry. You don't have to clean your jewelry the same way. You can keep doing what you've been doing. But I was showing you the proper way how I clean my jewelry. I keep my jewelry nice and stuff. I don't, I don't wear a lot of jewelry a lot of times. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But uh, I'm just showing you something different. You know, something you can think about, you know. Like I was simply showing for you, you show my help somebody else. And like, uh, you know, if you know somebody doing something positive to support them, especially if they're doing something positive, tell people about it, punch thumbs up, I want to give it. And if you know anybody that uh, want me to do an interview with them or have them on my show, let me know. I have them on my show, we talk about what they're going through, their problems and stuff, you know, because everybody have problems, I even have problems. So uh, we can talk about what they're going through, talk about if they got a business, if they want me to promote their business on my show, I can do that too. So um, just tell people about me, God bless you. Keep your head up this weekend from everything from the wheelchair cooking show. Thank you.